delicious maple cones. starting off with a large saucepan preferably one that has a nice thick heavy bottom to it one cup of butter melt the butter over medium low heat and then you're gonna add in one and a half cups of packed brown sugar one half cup of pure maple syrup and one can of sweetened condensed milk now you're gonna stir this all together over medium low heat and then you're gonna to continue to stir and cook over medium low until it starts to boil. Now you have to keep the heat fairly low because this stuff burns very quickly in the bottom. And you need to stir vigorously and continuously while you're cooking this. If you find that the, you're getting lots of big chunks of brown flecks coming from the bottom, that means it's burning, you need to turn it down a little bit. Once you get a nice boil, like you're seeing right here, you're gonna cook this for five minutes and then take it off the heat. Once it's off the heat, we're gonna add in either one and a half cups of miniature marshmallows. I didn't have any in the cupboard at the time, so I just used three quarters of a cup of marshmallow cream, which is kind of the equivalent to that many marshmallows. Either way, when you put your marshmallow in, you just need to stir it until the marshmallows are melted, or in this case, until the marshmallow cream was melted and nicely blended in. The color will change, it'll lighten up quite a bit. And that's all there is to it. Now I transferred mine into a measuring cup that had a spout, and you'll need some cones, of course. I'm using these little mini ice cream cups. I place them in a container, like this just so that they wouldn't fall over when I was filling them it keeps them nice and secure and you pack them in nicely they won't fall over as you're filling them and all you have to do is just fill them up now I'm just pouring it in you can also use two spoons to transfer the mixture into the cones you do this fairly quickly so once you start keep going because it hardens fairly quickly and once all your cones are full just pop them in the refrigerator for about an hour for it to set up and they are going to be ready to enjoy. Here is one. I'm just going to break it open so you can see what the kind of the texture of the maple cream. You can see it's not hard, but it certainly is stiff enough so it's not going to leak out if, if you turn it upside down. Nice and creamy and the maple flavor is so good and they are super, super sweet as you would expect. These candies are fine at room temperature for a couple of days. And actually I found after a couple of days, the texture changed from a creamy and it seems that the sugar crystallized a little bit. So it changed textures a little too, a bit more crystally, but actually I found it even better after a couple of days. The cone does soften just a tiny bit after it sits for a couple of days as well, but they just really do stay delicious. These would be awesome if you're doing a bake sale and I know we're living through times right now where you're probably not gonna have bake sales for a great long time, but someday we will. Or just make these for your family. Thank you for watching. And stay safe and stay healthy. I'm thinking about all of you. I have quite a few recipes that use maple syrup on my channel. And one of my favorites are these maple syrup lollipops with a piece of bacon inside. If you wanna see this, click on your screen or check for the link in the description box.